to PBS Online, one in five children are uh, recorded homeless every year. Now, when I talk about homeless people, a lot of people kind of get a little nervous and shaky and um, unsure about what I'm going to talk about. And this is the same way that I was when I was younger and I was uninformed about homeless people. And um, this continued until I was actually able to spend some time with homeless people and um, understand a little bit more about their lives. And so I would like to spend some time today um, to inform you about three things about homeless people to let you understand a little bit more about their lives. And the first thing that I would like to inform you about is that a large rate of homeless people are teens. The second thing that I would like to inform you about as, is that um, homeless people like to travel. And the third thing that I would like to inform you about is that cities, a lot of cities are doing what they can to try to push these homeless people out of their premises to try to keep their towns cleaner. Um, my first point that I'm, that I'm talking to you about today is that a lot of homeless people are teens. And according to DoSomething.org, 1.7 million teenagers are homeless. And this is 39% of the homeless population, which is a very large number. A lot of teenagers leave their homes because they want independence from their families. And a lot of parents just let the <coughs> teenagers go. And the teenagers just will, which leads me to my second point, they will travel the country and go around and they think that they have independence but they actually have no um, way of making money or way of gaining dependence because they have no home. Um, and the, the places that they live, they homeless people have kind of hub towns like Denver, Colorado is a hub town. And they will kind of gather around the wooded areas around Denver, Colorado. And sometimes they'll make like little colonies and live together around these um, wooded areas that provide protection and they provide uh, kind of just a little place for them to live until they decide that, that it's time for them to move on and time for them to go somewhere else to another hub or for them to travel somewhere else. And this um, leads me to my next point. Since they do travel a lot, a lot of these hub areas think that their towns are unclean and so they're doing what they can to try to clean up their towns. And so, according to Sevens Online, which is a homeless ministry ran by Benny and Nikki Nowell, um, these towns are doing things such as blocking up bridges um, to where homeless people can't even get under a bridge at night when it's raining, and they can't sleep and get away from the, from the rain. And they're putting rocks in cement so they can't have somewhere that's dry when it's when it's raining or somewhere that when, that's warm when uh, the cold ground from the cold ground so they're doing just random things that most people wouldn't see just to keep these homeless people from sleeping in parks or from sleeping around in these public areas and so um, these are the three things that most people don't see um, don't know about homeless people and there's not, there's a lot of things that people don't know about homeless people, but I pick these three things because I just, there's one main thing that I want to get across in my speech today, and that is that homeless people are people, or God made people, just like you and me. And if there's nothing that you get away from my speech today except for one thing, it is that they deserve the same love that you and I get from anybody. And so the next time that you see someone on the street corner, I would hope that you don't just kind of sigh and think, oh, another homeless person. I would hope that you would just kind of, you know, think they deserve love like I deserve love. So thank you.